Alex. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. A lot of people in the house. We're having a great time. It's a good day with sunshine in sunny Southern California. We're headed to do something extremely special. Uh, Kinsley, what are we doing? We're going to go to the Adventure Park. And then, then we're going to go see my first mom and then we're going to go see Katie and Jack. Uh -huh. So time flies when you're in the, in the car a lot and it has been wonderful. How, didn't we get to go to a really cool park yesterday? Yes. So we are going to see them in a second. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the house? Yeah. High five. They're all crying. They're melting down. Physically melting. Well, we have made it to our next stop. We are now at Philip's sister's house and we're gonna recap how beautiful and amazing and wonderful that luncheon was. So we just went to lunch with Kinsley's birth mom and it was so wonderful. So we will recap to you, but we didn't pull out a lot of um, we didn't get a lot of footage but we got some very sweet photos but I know a lot of you like the biggest fear that I get comments of is open adoption and I always want to try to preface when we talk adoptions on the vlog is every open adoption can look extremely different you can have letters that go through an agency that is corresponding between you and birth parents when one side or the other is ready for communication. Usually like when the birth mom wants to come back and actually receive those letters, that can be open adoption. It can be just the fact that you guys have each other's contact number. If anyone wants to get in touch with each other to seeing each other. And we haven't seen Kinsley's birth mom in years, but we are still very much more open side of open adoption. And so I don't want anyone to think and be fearful of adoption because they think that it all looks like ours and it very much doesn't. And we're still navigating on what adoption and open adoption and healthy relationships look like. And we are hoping that this is just going to be the healthiest and best option for Kinsley. She isn't quite to the age asking a lot of questions, but we try to make sure that the conversation stays open mm -hmm. where there's opportunities for her to process, but also not forcing conversations to force her to process before she is ready. So anyways, you kind of just take it at the pace of uh, the birth mom and the child. And that's, that's ultimately the goal is connectedness. We've kind of had this idea and whether it be right or wrong, whether we say, you know, in 10 years from now, maybe we would do it differently. But right now, just the thing that feels the best, feels the most responsible for birth mom, her emotions, her heart, all of the above. And for Kinsley, her heart, her emotions, and all of the above is a constant string of calls and texts that we have with them. The opportunity came where we were able to see her and yeah, it's been yeah, years. It's been years and I feel like we right now are both in a very healthy season and mm -hmm. she's grown and matured so much from 
the years and we're so stinking proud of her. She's yeah. such a light and so wonderful and so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we are just very thankful we got to come back out to California mm -hmm. to, because we don't know when we would have been able to see each other. Yeah. But that, so I, w I would say that one of the most important parts is that our goal for them is uh, that they would get to a place of health so that the conversations that we're having with their, their biological child, our adopted child, are something that is gonna leave a lasting positive memory mm -hmm. for the child. Yeah. That's ultimately our, our primary goal of these meetups or these calls or these texts um, is always that there's a positive memory for the child of their birth parent. Mm -hmm. And as we navigate the in-betweens of those visits, mm -hmm. as we navigate the in-betweens of those conversations, that it would be something that they can, they can see them in a positive light. Now, that's not always the case. That's not sure. always possible. Every situation of adoption is completely yeah. has its own nuance and is very different. But yeah. we are very blessed to have um, her being in such a beautiful, wonderful place. Yeah, I would say we're blessed that um, that there's two sides of this of this equation that are working towards unity, mm -hmm. safety, and health. Sure. And I. I'm just so proud of Kinsley's birth mom. Like I'm, we were yeah. just blown away today at her life decisions now yeah. are completely different than they were. And she would admit it and yeah. she did admit it. She's like, my life has gone, done a whole 180 yeah. slowly, but surely mm -hmm. Kinsley is going to yeah. learn her story yeah. where she's going to be able to tell it. Right. Um, and process it yeah. as she as she grows. And I would even say when we saw her when we got out of the car and ran and hugged her, it she was like I'm she was tearing up and I, she goes I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry and, yeah. I, and I looked at her in the eyes and I said, I uh, sweet girl, it's, it's so okay it's so to good. cry. Yeah. Like we're safe people. But it's okay it was to so cry with us. beautiful. It was instant emotion just, overwhelmed yeah. and it was just so. Beautiful. That's kind of why I wanted to do a little recap for mm -hmm. us to kind of share just mm -hmm. what a precious, beautiful moment. And we do very much know, mm -hmm. and we will say this, mm -hmm. that not every situation is like this. Yeah. And we know that, and we don't ever want to paint a false mm -hmm. picture mm -hmm. for people to think that it can be a copy paste of yeah. our experience. Um, and it's been years of growing and developing on our side and her side. When they're with us as a family unit, they feel like family. We want them to feel like yeah. family. And she's got a very strong family and we got to not yeah, just like their see whole her, family. we got to see a yeah. lot of extended family. Yeah. And so we got to all be together, which yeah. was very neat. Both birth moms, when they're around the whole family, they're interacting with all of our children as though yeah. it's like, this is like, Auntie. Yeah, Ca and Cassidy was like, I'm gonna sit on your lap. And yeah. so she was just yeah. sitting on her lap. So was... Callie's playing with her, yeah. Cassidy's playing with her, Kinsley's yeah. obviously right next to her. And we're just like letting letting this like freedom just happen, mm -hmm. this 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 relationship because there's obvious tears from a broken heart mm -hmm. and and that is and we, unavoidable we, ha we haven't done a lot of adoption videos recently so let's go back to and we had even said that we used at to least say, a year ago we had said we're probably not going to do it just because the girls were getting older well they, we don't share their story that their story is yeah. for them for yeah. them to share but in a specifically adoption video here um i want to reiterate things that we used to share a lot yep. and adoption starts with brokenness mm -hmm. there's no way around it it's yep. just it wasn't the it's a it's not plan it's not the initial intended plan a plan it's a. just not it's just right. it starts, it starts with, this, with like, brokenness. plan b it starts yeah. with this like no matter what the reason there's so many different reasons yep. But whatever it is, it, it starts with brokenness. Yep. And you're stepping into yeah. the void of something that for a million different reasons just yeah. isn't possible at that time. Yeah. Our primary yeah. focus is to give this child 
safety, okay. security, healthy, healthy upbringing. Mm -hmm. upbringing. I want to say yeah. this tiny little video is just such a, you at snapshot. least get a, yeah, at little least you snapshot. get a little bit of the goodness of what can come mm -hmm. when her heart is so open, our hearts are so open and we say, let's, let's raise this child so that they have as few amount of questions as possible going on into mm -hmm. life. Now, there are circumstances that I will say are probably unhealthy to have this kind of openness. Sure, but we're an advocate for open adoption and open adoption just means you know where you came from and you know the story in which you were brought into this right. world. It, it does it not. It doesn't necessarily mean open communication, um, mm -hmm. but for us, mm -hmm. we are hoping that this is the healthiest option, mm -hmm. but we did. We talked about adoption a lot when she was little, so it was never told to her. Mm -hmm. She just always knew. Seeing her entire family. It was a big family reunion. Was yeah. incredible. And the circumstances surrounding how well she's doing oh, yeah. is so emotionally yeah. exciting. And it's everything we could have hoped for and prayed for for her. Yeah. We love being able to love on people at all stages of their life. Mm -hmm. And we were with her at rock bottom. Yeah. And now we're with her as she's climbing to the top of a mountain. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I will admit my, my shortcomings, I had some struggles over the years and I didn't do a fabulous job with um, communication uh, with the, you know, the birth moms. And, you know, I have matured and grown even in our journey and our story and I want to do better. And it's unfortunately we are still flawed like and they're the one thing about adoption that i didn't really expect is this weird underlying desire to be a perfect parent mm. because you feel like you were given this responsibility oh. and so you want to do it right yeah and you don't want to make a mistake but we are all parents, we all make mistakes, but we are all growing and we're all learning and we're hoping to just get better and better. Yeah. Um, whether that's parenting directly to the child or right. you know, working with birth moms and, and yeah. keeping that relationship um, healthy and rock solid. Yeah, and I think, I think Alex and I have had such a desire that we would raise our kids with character mm -hmm. and compassion we want our kids to be better than we are. Like mm -hmm. our, 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 our goal is that our, our children are filled with all of the goodness that we see in Jesus. Mm -hmm. We actually, I, I wasn't expecting any compliments, but they were so complimentary of how great the girls were. Oh, how, did they say? That? Yeah, how I well behaved that. they That's were. Great. And yeah, it's really fun. And we were able to reminisce and yeah. I want, and I got to share with like how many um, little tendencies that I see Mm -hmm. in Kinsley that I see are just straight from birth mom yep. and she's like a little miniature version mm -hmm. and I loved being able to share that and show that you know she lives on in her too mm -hmm. and um yeah it was very nice it's just so special and for both of our girls I'm so excited for where their birth moms are going in life like I'm so mm -hmm. yeah I'm so what a journey yeah I'm so excited for them. I know it's been so hard. I can never even fathom how hard it's been for them. Like I can never even fathom, like when I close my eyes and I think about it, you can't even fathom the pain that they, these birth moms have gone through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our entire goal, like we up, we, we've changed our lives so that we could be around our kids 24 seven. And that was one of the hardest and best decisions we ever made. Mm -hmm is figuring out how to steward the gift of their life that we were given in yeah. through adoption. If you guys have any questions, mm -hmm. um, nothing about their story specific, but just mm -hmm. adoption in general, if you want to leave it in the comments, um, I think we are in a state where we are open to mm -hmm. talking about it and sharing with you guys again. Um, <laughs> We definitely are interested in finding safer spaces for us to have all of these conversations. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking into how we can go about doing that. But um, for now, if you guys want to leave some questions and there's enough that we can kind of do a little sit down, maybe yeah. when we get home, um, yeah. we would love that. Thank you guys so much for watching and for caring for our family and supporting and loving our girls. 
um, and being very respectful of them. Um, we thank you and we love you and go let your love multiply. We'll see you guys in our next video. And I hope this encourages you guys yeah. to, if you're thinking, considering adoption and you're stumped on the fears, mm -hmm. it can turn out incredibly well. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you guys. Go let your love multiply. Okay.